Witness an unprecedented turn of events tonight in the ongoing investigation surrounding Douglas County Judge Christina Peterson. In an exceptional decision, a hearing panel, in an unusual decision, has found Peterson guilty of what they describe as systemic incompetence and asserting that she is unfit to continue serving in her esteemed position. This groundbreaking revelation, as elucidated by Fox 5 i team reporter Randy Travis, highlights the gravity of the situation and underscores the urgent need for appropriate action to be taken. An extraordinary development tonight in the long-running investigation into Douglas County Judge Christina Peterson. In a rare move, a hearing panel decided Peterson is guilty of, quote, systemic incompetence and should not remain in office. Fox 5 i team reporter Randy Travis explains. <laughs> Did you want to take a break? Christina Peterson did not do herself any favors during seven days of hearings beginning last September. The JQC hearing panel's report criticized her for not taking any responsibility for the 30 counts of judicial misconduct lodged against her. The panel found Peterson's decision to imprison this Thai woman who is married to a black American man for attempting to update her marriage certificate with her biological father's name to be highly concerning. The most troubling, wrote the panel, Peterson's decision to jail this woman for trying to amend her marriage certificate certificate to include the real name of her recently discovered father. Did you Peterson's actions at her HOA board meeting were strongly condemned by the Douglas County Court for trying to persuade her HOA board to settle a lawsuit she initiated, despite being aware that the HOA already had legal representation. The report criticized Peterson's attempt at this meeting to get her HOA board to settle a lawsuit she had filed, even though she knew the HOA was represented by an attorney. Peterson's attempts to avoid responsibility for these clear violations bordered on the farcical, severely eroding her credibility with the hearing panel. It is crucial to highlight that Peterson blatantly disregarded the explicit instructions from the sheriff's office and proceeded to host a wedding outside of the designated hours. Shockingly, she allowed individuals to enter the premises without the presence of any deputies. This irresponsible and reckless behavior cannot be overlooked. You cannot go in this building, and eventually she went in. The sheriff's office said Peterson ignored their orders and held a wedding after hours, allowing people inside without deputies present. She once hit a panic button when a deputy was late escorting her to court, causing a temporary panic among security. And when county staff criticize her actions, it quickly triggers allegations of obstructionism or even racism. These communications and actions reveal a judge who publicly vilifies colleagues, is quick to threaten them with unnecessary legal action, and generally projects a spiteful and vainglorious persona. I'm the first. African-American female and Democrat, yes. I was never celebrated or congratulated. I, the first, when, on my day of swearing in, I was sworn in by Judge Emerson. I received my first JQC complaint. The report highlighted numerous instances where she neglected her duties, causing unnecessary delays in processing petitions. The panel concluded that Peterson displayed a pattern of incompetence. It is crucial for judges to uphold the integrity and impartiality of the judiciary in their actions. Peterson's main defense was her inexperience as a judge, a problem she promised has been addressed through additional training. But the panel was not buying it. The report also cited multiple examples of failure to actually do her job, needlessly delaying petitions before her office. The hearing panel said Peterson was guilty of systemic incompetence, Judges are expected to act in a manner that promoted the integrity and impartiality of the judiciary. Respondent has shown that she cannot or will not do so. And so, she must go. Peterson has 20 business days to file exceptions to this report with the Georgia Supreme Court. They're the ones who will ultimately decide whether to take the recommendation to have her removed from office. I talked to her attorney, Lester Tate. He told me they disagree with the recommendation and they will take it to, quote, the next level. At the live desk, Randy Travis, Fox 5 News. Thank you for joining us on SOVIC React channel, where we delve into the world of reactions with enthusiasm and authenticity. If you enjoyed our content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with our latest reactions. Your support means the world to us as we continue to explore, analyze, and share our reactions with you. Until next time, stay curious, stay tuned, and keep reacting.